Okay, so this is the last video about my rant that I've been building out in my save file for Sims 4. And in case you guys didn't watch the last video, this is in the, the new world that came with Horse Rant. And if I remember the name of the pack correctly. And it's in the largest lot, the 64 by 64 lot. I already did the backyard in another video, so by now, even though I'm switching the landscaping around the house, I'm really gonna focus inside the house in this video and going to change a couple of things here and there. I'm mainly what I'm going to do make the bathroom upstairs a lot bigger, making the downstairs bigger as well. And also make my and the, the my infant my infant room a lot bigger as well. Well, a little bit bigger, and adding some more stuff to it. Even though as of the recording of this video, I my infant has already made up to a toddler, but when I'm a when I was remodeling the house, he was still an infant. The infant name is Brandon, and his mom name is Dawn. I can't remember the name of his dad, but um, his dad is a native to the world of Horseman. And yeah, so right now I'm just switching everything outside to blend it in. But anyway, I don't really know what to say because I feel like in the outro, I did a pretty good job explaining what I did. So, I'm good for a little bit. I'm just gonna talk about the, the trolls that I've been having with OBS. With the reason why... I haven't, I didn't, didn't upload the other video as fast as I would have liked was because uh, my OBS for some reason was not working with my capture card even though it did before I updated it. I don't know if the update did something or what happened but before I updated it, uh, it was working just fine but after that Oh, something happened. I was eventually was, was able to fix it as you could clearly see because I'm I have been make I have made now two videos with OBS using the sim. And so I have been I, I just took some time for me to fix it, but that's fine. I because it does help with me using my solving problem skills so and it helps me to learn more about the the program of OBS. I mostly use to edit uh, iMovie and also before this I've been using um QuickTime or wait is that what it's called? Yeah QuickTime. I I use that to 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 record my gameplay. And I use iMovie to edit. So I'm still figuring out how to use OBS and all that. And yeah, so it was a pretty good learning experience for me. But at the time, it was kind of annoying for me to have the trouble with OBS. And a quick update about my dog. My dog is doing good. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, it, I was talking about how my dog was a little, my got sick. It was actually kind of funny in the last video, but he, he seemed to be okay. And by now, I'm just hoping he stays this way up until we have to go on our trip. And that's pretty much it. But as far as the bill goes, I didn't really add anything specific because none of my sims 
actually have a job, like, um, John, he's a freelancer, he writes books for a living, but her husband, he, he did work for a little while at the gardener, he ended up quitting because he wanted to pursue making nectar for a living, it ended up being it took a lot longer and it ended up being more better for them to make money faster because some of his nectar could be about three three thousand or but definitely over a thousand dollars each. So he he could easily pay for a couple of rents with just one rack of wine and also they wanted to dedicate themselves to their animals according to their son so they just decided not to well I decided but I'm sorry why they decided that they wanted not to have a normal 9 to 5 job which is been fun playing with a household like that that I don't need to worry about them going to work and I could just focus on the skill building and also the family as well, take care of the animals. I, the only thing is that they, they make way too much money too easily. Like, I think with one gig, Don can make, can make eight eighteen thousand dollars and that's just with one gig that covers the whole rent that not even counting what he makes with when we do sell his with his nectar so that's just one one complaint that I have that I wish that they wouldn't make so much money because the grind kind of makes the game a little bit more fun and it makes it a lot more interesting. But other than that, it can be relaxing. And I think when Brandon becomes a young adult, I'm gonna have him do something similar to that. And have him not have a regular 9 to 5 job. And also, I might cut down on some of the animals by the time he becomes a young adult. But we will see because I still haven't really paid with chickens and cows yet and with the sheep and goats. So, um, we'll just think about that. But yeah, that's kind of my idea. And, but for the most part, I have been doing most of what I wanted. The, their aspiration is almost done. I still have a lot to do with their I do have quite a bit to do with their aspirations but for the most part they're almost done and right now I'm just wanting to focus on training the horses and also breeding the horses because I want to bring the horse with the with the champion trait I think that's what it is the champion trait and but other, once I do that, I think I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have, I have done with this pack. And I may one day, like, I believe I mentioned the outro of this video, I may one day change this whole lot and make the house a lot bigger. And make it actually a ranch style house. But for right now, I just think that the way that this house is, it's very cozy, very, it's very, it's very cute, and also, it just feels very warm and inviting, in my opinion. I know that there's a lot of light, but I think the, the tan, the tan, and also the light colored wood, when you bring in some warmth, and also, like, you're going to see in the, in the living room, it has a fireplace, and, oh my goodness, that, 
that living room looks so cozy. I could just sleep in that living room and be so happy with the fireworks going. And also, when it's snowing in winter, oh my goodness, that, that's just the best. So, I'm not planning to tear down this build anytime soon. And, so, but that pretty much then, that's all I, I don't know what else to talk about now. Cause like I said, I mentioned most of what I wanted to talk about in the outro, which is probably was a mistake on my part. But, but I do think that it turned out pretty nice. I do like how the style that I kind of came up with, where it looks like some random stuff from here and there. I'm, I think it's called, I forgot what that style is called, when you have different type of objects and things that are from different styles. But I do really like how it looks. Yeah, some of it does have like a consistent theme throughout, but it still feels like very mixed and messy, but still work together. And maybe that's because I didn't go too crazy with the mix and match. And also because I did mainly use the ranch pack to decorate it. So maybe, maybe that's why also. But still, it, I think it looks pretty nice, and I do, I do like the fact that I added some pottery around the house. I thought that was a really nice idea, and and, I, and I, like I said, I just really do like the house. I like the way it looks. The only thing that, oh, but I think I would. I would change the wall height. I don't like the medium wall height. I like the the short wall height better because it's, in, it's easier for me to decorate the walls with the short wall height. But still, I still think that it turned out pretty well despite all that. And like I said, I'm very happy with how it overall it turned out. I I did play with it with this house a little bit as I was recording for this video. And my fam seemed to like the decorations as well. It's, um, and it's pretty cool that they like it as well. And yeah, the, I'm, another thing that I do think I need to mention, because I didn't get a chance to, to mention this in the other video, I ended up in between this video and the other video adopting another horse, so I had to add another horse friend and another stable, so the, where I ended up in the horse friend and also the other stable, but where I, I made the training area, the indoor training area, I put, I moved my, one of my horses there and I just added food and water and also I, I just made a little room for them and it does work. I had to use the uh, I had to use this big barn door because it wouldn't work with the smaller door for some reason. I thought it could, but apparently um, the horse can't fit into the smaller, the smaller door that I have in the kitchen in the house. But it still looks pretty good, and I didn't delete any of the decorations. I just moved the decorations into the corner. And everything still works, and the horse could go in there just fine and can rest up. So now you can fit five horses in this lot, 
if you wanted to, or if you just want to keep that room um, for, for the horses to randomly sleep there, and not having a sign to any particular horse, you can also do that. As far as how many Sims can live in this house, I, you can really only fit two, three Sims. Maybe, you can maybe fit four Sims, but the, one, the other bedroom will feel kind of cramped, but you can't fit another bed in the other bedroom that Brandon has. Yeah, it does have a it, it does have an office area, but the office area in I don't feel like it's big enough to be an actual bedroom or to be like a bed or something like that. Maybe you could you could turn the bath the big bathroom that I made in the in, in the upstairs into a bedroom and that might be actually be a little, it still be pretty small, but might be a better size than what, than what the office area is. Or you could just find a way to make the office area a little bit bigger and make that into a bedroom. But for the way that I made it, it was just for three sims. For a infant and two adult sims. And yeah, because yeah, I don't think I, when I saved it, I don't think I turned the bed into a toddler's bed yet. If I did, um, I'm sorry, so um, that was my mistake. I just can't remember right now if it's a toddler's bed or if it's an infant bed. But yeah, so when I put in the gallery, I'm not sure which friend you're gonna have. But so it's if for a parent and for if for parent parents and a child that this room is made for uh, this house is made for. And that pretty much it, that pretty much all you can find here. Plus the horses as well and the rest of the animals. But not pretty much, not very much else. You might be able to expand the house even more. But I just haven't really figured out how you can expand it or really wanted to expand it anymore because I, like I said, I like the fact that it's, it's small it, and it's it is cozier to me when it's small, especially because it has the taller wall height. I think having it be smaller in footprint makes it so that the taller wall height will make it feel so big. And yeah, that pretty much the end. You could, if you guys do download this in the gallery, feel free to change whatever you want and to add anything that you want to add some pictures or whatever and also feel free to take away my trophies that I put on the, the training area I don't know if that could make it hard for people to download I don't think so but um, I guess we'll tell the And another thing that I, I do want to mention that you guys may want to be careful with the pressure cooker. Because as I'm playing with this family, if I wasn't paying attention to one of my sims, they would always cook something in the pressure cooker. So, funny, I will be using. 30 simoleons or 12 simoleons because somebody will be cooking something in that pressure cooker or there was this 
pot cooking and pressure cook and then we start to cook something on the pressure cooker and do want to cook something else in the pressure cooker. You can't finish it because the other food is done. So I have to throw that food away. So that is one thing that you need to be careful about. <clears throat> I think it's the same problem with if you have the ice cream or popcorn, popcorn maker or even the coffee maker as well. Cream cookers automatically want to make coffee all the time. So that's something that I wish that the same for would fix and make it so that they won't constantly want to use the machine. And I think it, I don't know why, but the, they don't do do that with the pizza maker, which I also have in the kitchen. I don't know why only those particular objects that happen with. But and it's something that you might make, want to keep an eye on, and it's something that I'm gonna have to keep an eye on, or I'm just gonna have to delete it. If it gets too annoying. Okay, so that's enough ranting for now. I'm just going to let the video play out and also then let the outro play out. And I hope you guys like the video. I hope I didn't bore you with all of my rants and all that. But like I said, I feel like I did a pretty good job of playing where I got all the items and also what my thought pro process was with decorating the house. So, there's not very much else to say that I haven't already said. So, I guess, so, anyway, I'm just gonna end this rant and I hope you guys have a nice day. Take care. And they say, and I hope you guys like me this time, but.
Come on in. Come on in.